Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I'm going to answer Sandy's question. She messaged me a week ago. She said, I met this guy online about six weeks ago and I've texted him probably at least 15 times. He has read all my texts, but he has never responded. When we first started talking, it was really good online. But now that we've gone to the texting thing, he doesn't seem to be responding. He just reads them. What gives and what should I do about this? First of all, Sandy, if he is not responding and you've texted him 15 times, I really, really strongly suggest you quit texting him, period. I don't know whether he's trying to play the mysterious guy here and trying to play hard to get, keep you guessing, whatever the game is, it's not any value to you because you're the one putting in all the effort here. And if you start out this way with somebody that you barely know, this is the precedence that's, that's stated early on. You don't want somebody that treats you this way. You want to be treated in a really respectful way. You guys had a really good rapport in the first little while when you met online and now he just doesn't respond at all. So something's changed. Either he's met somebody else and he's sort of keeping you on the back burner here or he is playing some sort of push-pull game with you. The fact that he reads them, you feel encouraged to continue to text. But that's not enough of an encouragement for you to continue to do so because you need response from him. It's not right that you're making all the effort and he's just reading them and leaving them. I hear this so much in, in, from a lot of my clients that they're the ones that put more effort into the beginning of this new relationship. But yet, if you're doing that in the beginning, then you know that that's kind of the way things are starting out and maybe will always be that way where you're the one always putting the energy into the relationship. You don't want to be the one that puts all the energy. You want it to be mutual. You want them to want to contact you, want to put effort into making arrangements to see you. It shouldn't always be one person maintaining the small amount of communication that's happening here. This type of behavior is really getting old and it's, it's, it's just so frustrating for so many people because they do have this good rapport in the beginning and then everything just sort of fizzles. But they hang in there and give you just a little teeny piece of themselves. Look at the whole picture. What's going on now? Anybody can be good for a day or two. Anybody can text one or two nice messages or, or emails or however you do it online. But you want to see how they treat you for the long haul, not just one or two times. It's really important that you respect yourself enough here that if somebody's not answering you, let it go. They're not interested enough. And even if they are sort of playing hard to get with you, do you want somebody that plays hard to get? Or do you want somebody that's there and wants to be there? That's what you really want to find out early on. People spend so much time, like months, of getting to know someone that doesn't give them really anything to go on. If they're not showing you the same reciprocated communication that you're giving them, they're not worthy of your time. You don't want to be dealing with self-esteem issues from people that treat you this way. How you keep your self-esteem up is by not allowing this to happen. If he's really serious about things with you, he's going to start contacting you more and be there. You shouldn't have to be the one that maintains this whatever it is situation between the two of you because there's no value in it it's just basically you putting energy into a one-sided situation so thanks for your question sandy it was it's a good one because a lot of people are going through this and it's not easy to just sort of when you've had a good situation and then just sort of throw it away but in a case where it's it's always the you doing all the work it's time to let go of it so anybody else who has any questions, you can send them to me here on YouTube or at cybersuit.com. And I appreciate you subscribing. If you haven't already done so, please like the video and comment below. Let me know what you have to say about this. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.